also Coach Ensminger. You know, there was a tragedy that happened in Coach Ensminger's family today. I was the one that had to tell Coach, and here's what I told him. I told him what happened, and here's what he said. Coach, we're going to get through this. And obviously he was distraught when he called a great game today, so just goes to show you the integrity and the grit and character of the men on our football team. Really proud of these two young men on the side of me. They're great players, they're great teammates. What a tremendous job. I thought we played uh, about three quarters. We played a, a complete game and give Oklahoma credit as great athletes. Coach Ron is a great coach and uh, they've had a lot of success. You know, uh, being a head coach, uh, stuff's going to happen. You don't know what it's about. You got to be prepared. And, uh, but you know what? You have great people around you. It makes it a lot better. A little stuff. Stuff. I didn't want the team to know. Uh, I didn't want it to affect the team, the mindset of the football team, the energy of the football team. Neither did Steve. We did not try to keep it home. I think they found out before the game. And, you know, there was a little concern. There might be a, bit, a little low, but it sure wasn't the way we started. And we've got to give them credit to our football player. When and how did you learn about the plane accident? And, and how do you process? that information to be able to disseminate yeah. that to, to Coach Ensminger? You know, it's funny, uh, Derek Pernamski and I, uh, I was right, we have a coaches meeting at 12.30, and we had finished a uh, walkthrough at 11.30, so I was kind of writing down the thing and the game plan and stuff that we were going to discuss. And I looked at Derek, and I said, Derek, you know what, you know, thank God we've been going through the whole week without any incidents. Usually go to a bowl or something happens. And, you know, none of our guys were tested or or suspended for anything. Uh, nobody missed curfew. It was almost a perfect week. Then he got the text, and um, I had to go find Steve. And then I told him about 12 30. Knew her. Um, you know, we'd go to Mackey's games. Uh, she uh, interviewed me and Kelly. Uh, and so on all the time. Uh, so the state championship game, in fact, I can't go to the state championship game. We watched it, and we watched her work from early morning to late at night. Me and my wife complimented her, and obviously we're friends with the Ensmingers, and so we've seen her around all the time. What an outstanding young lady and a bright future. It's just it's a shame that happened.